Apollo 11, this is Houston. How do you read? Apollo 11, this is Houston. Radio check over. All right, Roger. We're copying you about uh, five by two. Very weak. Can you give us a status report, please? And we understand that you are, Doc. Hello, oh, Apollo 11, Houston. We recommend you accept the 949. Continue through your sequence of sightings, and then we'll analyze the data afterwards. Over. Okay. On board was a fourth brain, a small computer called Disky, which solved problems and helped with a long sequence of systems checks and data exchange with Earth. Houston, Apollo 11, uh, Star 40 has just disappeared now in the uh, section. Could the uh, trunnion angle 47 something be a little high? Stand by. Hello, Apollo 11, Houston. Uh, we'd like you to press on to Star 44, over. Yeah, right, right. How many more? They found their way across the sea of space, navigating by the same stars that guided Columbus to shores unknown. 11, Houston, we copied two good marks, over. Yeah, okay. Okay, drug removal is coming next. Roger. Neil Armstrong up in the tunnel at this point, removing the uh, probe and drogue assembly in preparation for the ingress to the lunar module. Okay, it's moved now, coming down. Roger. After docking pressure was equalized, the hatch was opened so that the crewman could float through the tunnel between the two craft to give Eagle a detailed inspection its navigation, communication, propulsion, and life support systems. The uh, vehicle is surprisingly free of any uh, debris floating around. It's very clean. Roger. Three days falling to the moon, free of the gravity of Earth. No up or down, no day or night. A sense of stillness while traveling at the speed of a meteor. Uh, about how long it'll be before you start clo closing the limb back up, over. An invisible speck in the night, somewhere between here and there, constantly monitored from Earth. Within this tiny spacecraft, a temporary Earth environment, warmth, air, food, water, everything necessary to sustain life. Beyond these fragile walls, nothingness, absolute cold, an end to life. The most important function of the spacecraft, life, was also monitored constantly through telemetry, the heartbeat and breathing of each astronaut. Although each breath was 30,000 feet farther from Earth than the breath before it. Should one heart flutter, it would at once be a matter of concern to millions worlds away. Unlike any other place man had traveled before, space could provide him with nothing. It is a vacuum, devoid of every element needed for life. To send man into this nothingness, to protect him, it was first necessary to define him. What is the human machine? How does it function? 